Welcome back, guys. Max here. And there is a ton of new stuff come down the pipeline. Some of it I'm guessing you guys have probably already seen, but this is going to be my twist and my take on it. In the background, let's start there. In the background, you are going to see new gameplay from Lubcow Pass. If you did not know and you do not know, uh, and your head has been buried under a rock, Lubcow Pass is now available for absolutely everybody across all platforms. Update your Xbox, update your PlayStation 4, download it. It's 6 gigs, so uh, get settled in for a bit of a longer download if you've got slow download speeds. But it is available for absolutely everybody. And in the background, you're going to see a game of Rush that I played earlier just to get some gameplay footage in the background. The map looks absolutely superb. It's polished. Um, there's no more graininess, obviously, because this is the live and true game. The new guns are not in the game. They're not involved in Lubcow Pass. Um, they will be coming later in September when the full package in the name of the desire is uh, is delivered to us all. And uh, so don't look out for new guns because you're not going to find them. But we do have the new map. It looks really, really great. But I tell you right now, right off the get-go, it is an absolute sniper fest. If you are anti-scout in any way, shape or form, you are going to have a really rough time. I played a game of Rush just before the one you're watching and I literally I sat one side of the map, the, the other sniper sat the other side of the map and nobody could advance and it was just sniping backwards and forwards constantly. Um, I've heard reports that the Conquest mode is working in a similar way. Um, I hope somehow that the balancing can be sorted out. There's less horses in it, so that's a good thing. Um, but it's uh, right here, right now, it's an absolute sniper fest. And so if, if uh, you're anti-scout, then I, you're not going to have such a good time. But uh, hopefully things will change and settle down when we get more players in there right now. It's it's too fresh. So if you didn't know that, go and download Lubcow Pass, give it a go, see what you think, and uh, try it out from there. Now, incursions, Battlefield Incursions is really what I want to talk about. And uh, it, very, very shortly, I will be showing the two-minute video um, which came down from Gamescom earlier. Um, if you've not seen it, then stick around. That will be played. If you have seen it, then I apologise. It's another two minutes of your life wasted with something you've already seen, but there it is. That's uh, the whole point of making content. Um, what do I want to talk about with Incursions? Incursions looks absolutely brilliant. It's something we've been promised for a very, very long time. And by very long time, I mean Battlefield Two, I believe they tried something, but it never really sort of, sort of panned out. It never really caught on, and it never really took off. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure it's going to take off this time round. I guess only time will tell. But uh, there's a few things that they've changed up with for incursions mode. One of which is the scoring system is completely changed. We don't have a huge amount of details on that yet, but the scoring system has been changed. There is a closed alpha registration currently underway. Battlefield.com, get on there and uh, you can sign up and register for the closed alpha. Don't bother if you are on console because it's not open to console. It's only for PC, sadly. Um, but if you are rocking a PC and you're listening to this, then you have the opportunity all the way up to August 27th at 9 o'clock Central Eastern Standard Time to jump on board and uh, sign up for that closed alpha and get some gameplay doing that. There are a limited amount of countries which it will be available to. I'm not going to read them all to you for the sake of time, but uh, they are listed on Battlefield 1's website. So by all means, go over there and uh, and check that out and see what you think and all the rest of it. Um, all classes, they're changing up the classes. I thought this was really interesting. There's going to be eight different classes within this uh, competitive mode, I guess. The first is the Trench Surgeon, uh, which is kind of like the medics able to heal and revive team members. They've just changed the name. Control Leader is a master of vision, denial with smoke grenades en masse, and Control Leader is the back line of the squad and can be spawned on while out of content. Uh, combat, I should say. AT Assault is a specialised in taking out uh, enemy vehicles. The AT Assault is every vehicle operator's nightmare, it says. I'm assuming that's going to be kind of like the Assault class when just basically have, you know, any tank grenades and all that kind of fun jazz. The Battlefield Mechanic, the primary job is to operate the team vehicles, movement and position, separating great vehicle operators from the good, is the description. Looks to me like we're going back to almost an engineer class from Battlefield 4, which is, uh, which is kind of cool, and I'd like to see that actually introduced into the main game. Mortar support, raining down explosives on foes and providing ammo for friends. The mortar support is a superb at controlling areas from afar, is what it says. Raid leader, getting up close and personal. The raid leader can place down spawn beacons for reinforcements. Those of you that played Battlefield 4 will remember there was a spawn beacon in Battlefield 4. You can place it down and then spawn into it. Again, this is something I would like to see introduced into the core game mode. I think that would be really, really cool. Shock assault, packing a punch against both infantry and vehicles. The shock assault is well-rounded, 
in their ability to make things go boom. Sounds to me like it's a heavily laden version of the assault class with a whole bunch of explosives. And then you have Proximity Recon excels at obtaining information for the team and using that intel to dispose of enemies up close. That's a kind of a double entendre right there because it signifies that you're going to get a recon scout class um, which is normally you know, utilised sitting back and shooting into the, into the map and all the rest of it, picking off the uh, enemy team before moving on to the flags. And then it finishes up with enemies up close. Um, I'm assuming that means for its team, not as a, an individual character, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what that is. So this, it says what weapons will be available. Well, the weapons that are available are going to be the same guns that are available currently in the game. I don't think you're going to see any new stuff per se but then again i could be wrong i've been wrong in the past that's for sure and uh so we are going to see some uh you know some of the regular weapons that we're used to seeing vehicles you are going to get a light tank and an armored car you're only going to get one per team i don't know if it's going to be like a single spawn in type deal um i.e you only get once and once it's blown up that's the end of it i, I do not know we don't have any more details on uh, on this whatsoever but uh, that is it in a nutshell. You know me, I like to keep these short. I like to keep them sweet. If you have questions, post them in the comments down below and I will read them and try and answer them to the very best of my ability. And certainly if I've missed something or you guys know something else that I don't know, please leave it in the comments. Share with everybody else and uh, so we can do it. But um, unfortunately for you guys, the most disappointing thing for me to this is that it is not available for console in the closed alpha i would love to have played that um i very very nearly bought it for pc but uh i just i just can't force myself to do it to be perfectly honest with you and so with that i'm going to play the two minute uh trailer for the uh, for the alpha not going to battle over it uh, and i'm going to wrap the video up on that thanks for watching guys hope i've given you some you know information that you wanted didn't maybe know or something along the lines of that if you have comments or questions please leave them down below and tomorrow we'll be going over a little bit more of Lubecal Pass and we'll be talking about the brand new map that I cannot pronounce for the life of me but uh, we'll work on that in the next 24 hours and we'll let it go down so in the meantime sit back enjoy and uh, watch their trailer and I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning in another video all right ta-da guys It's super exciting that Battlefield is finally getting a competitive mode. It's been asked for for a really long time. It's something DICE has been working on with the community's feedback. Nobody's heard about it until now. It starts with creating a game that the community loves. It's super early in production, but we want to get out there to the players and bring them in as part of the development. EA is listening closely to players in the creation of the game. And watching through their eyes and seeing the way that they play the game, it's a really amazing experience. The team play that Battlefield 1 Incursions has generated has been nothing short of amazing. It takes the teamwork of Battlefield and takes it to a whole new level. Five people on one side, five on the other. Fast, strategic gameplay. It's extremely important for the game to be just as much fun to watch as is to play. And that starts with the changes that we've made to the scoring system. What we get is a much more intense experience where every point matters. But that's the point of the game is to win. I can get a little competitive sometimes. <laughs> One of the unique aspects of Battlefield 1 Incursions is that we're allowing players to choose their kits before they actually get into gameplay. So teamwork is really important here, and kit play is going to be one of the most important factors in this, which brings in something that we haven't seen in any other competitive game. There's a lot of strategy with teammates, with more decision-making. The intensity of the games. You don't know what's going to happen next. That's why I love Battlefield. We can't have a Battlefield 1 competitive experience and not have vehicles. I can tell you what, when they roll around the corner, it is scary. That tank is not easy to take out. Vehicle play can change the outcome of a game. There is no game that has that balance of infantry and vehicle play like Battlefield does. They draw in lush the feeling. It's an immersed environment that you just can't get enough of. It's a lot of fun to play, and you get those Battlefield moments that are just breathtaking. Anyone could have that heroic moment. Anyone could pull off a massive play to turn the game around. And that adrenaline feeling that you get is incredible. I'm really looking forward to seeing this out in the wild.